This is how the boys are making the breakfast. <laughs> I think two of them was broke already and it's got stuck in there and as they tried to lift it up, but yeah, this is what we need to clean up. You guys are not going to believe what happened. I didn't shave. No, <laughs> not on right. that. The IKEA cabinets have arrived. Did you check the box? It's a correct one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we should have the furniture today. Cabinets. Oh yeah, we should have the cabinets today. So finally we have all of them. Today we have to put on the handles and then I can organize the things in there. And also we have to finish that area. But our focus on for today is to check it check. To put together the cabinet over there and the one that goes on the top of the refrigerator. So you have to pull out all of them? Not these. Just on the side? Yeah. Okay, what's the other problem? This cabinet is what? with the legs 20, I mean 96 inch, 95 inch tall. And then we have 9 inch height right there. So as far as my math goes, it's not I'm good. I'm gonna have to raise the roof a little bit. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> No, we're just gonna bring it a little bit lower. Uh, we're gonna have a lower uh, toe kick area because mm -hmm. that's all five inch. We're gonna okay. be probably like a two and a half inch underneath these. And then I'm hoping we're gonna be okay with that. trying to figuring out the organizing and I will do probably a separate video on that how I'm going to organize when everything is done
Did you cut off the corner because of the wire? No, I had to leave uh, space for the ants. Otherwise, they're gonna come. For the ants? Yeah. <laughs> you planning on to add more ants than what we yeah, have now? Yeah, if, if, if I don't cut that off, they're gonna have to come around. Oh, I see. So that way we don't see them, so we can ignore them. Exactly. So this is where Joas is now. <laughs> so you leveled the whole thing. So that's, I didn't know that it takes so much time, but you have to level the whole cabinet. Yeah, it's, it, this is actually a pretty tedious part. Yeah. We're going to have a cabinet up there and we're going to ha have a shaft. Oh, I thought it's gonna be higher, but that's good. That's a perfect height. So we're gonna have this little oven that will go in there. We're going to have drawers on the bottom and the cabinet on the top. As we're getting farther with this project, less and less stuff <laughs> will be on the countertop, which is very exciting. And this is how it will look in the corner. Of course, we still have to put on the handles. We do it. <laughs> so on the bottom, I haven't cleaned the freezer part and you can tell that probably I don't even have to mention and over here I just cleaned that and I only use just a fractionated coconut oil and the same with the dishwasher it looks really nice I used the magic eraser to scrape off the paint and rust and whatever it had on it who knows what was on this. <laughs> that was over here when we bought the house. But now I put the coconut, fractionated coconut oil on it, and then I use the dry cloth. So for next, we're going to keep continue with this area. This is the famous shaft that we were waiting for months, right? Actually, we have the shaft. We had the shafts? The, yeah, we have, Oh, the cabinet the was missing. We had the shaft. We've been waiting for this cabinet right here. Yeah. And then uh, six of the drawers right there.
Okay, so we have some technical difficulties with the power over here, and I got my best electrician on the job. <laughs> She's the one with the smallest hands. So the toaster oven has only a cord about 18 inches, and we need a lot longer to work it in. We still have a few things that we want to finish. Joat is going to put on the handles, maybe tonight. Let's see after the break how he feels about this. And I will share more on how I organize this kitchen. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!